probably know what a raccoon is, but here to with us today is Lisa and she's an animal expert and she's going to tell us all about these strange little animals. Um, Lisa, what kind of animal is a raccoon exactly? Well, a scientific answer to that question is the raccoon is the largest member of a family known as the Procyonidae, which includes creatures such as the uh, Kawasi, Pikachu, quite a few, the raccoon is probably the best known of them all. When scientists are trying to figure out how animals are related to each other, they can look at the animal on a molecular basis and they figured out that raccoons are distantly related to bears. So they're not bears, but they're very, very distantly related to bears. The non-scientific answer to that question of what kind of animal is a raccoon is that they're rather eccentric hairstylists. As you can see, I'm having a very bad hair day. This is the story of my life at the moment. For the last year, I've worked closely with raccoons, and they really like doing my hair for me. And, and what are the most amazing features of a raccoon? Well, they're probably best known for um, their busy little hands. Um, raccoons have um, a very resourceful character. They're very mischievous creatures, and they're extremely dexterous. So all that combined means that they tend to get into places they shouldn't be. In the natural range in the US and Canada, they're always breaking into bins, into people's houses, into people's fridges. And because those hands are so, so sensitive, it really helps them with this. About two thirds um, of the, their brain that's dedicated to sensory processing is dedicated to touch alone. So while they have fantastic hearing, um, their, their sense of um, eyesight is very good, their sense of smell is very good, touch is king. They have evolved near rivers. Um, where they have to delve their paws into the mud and have a good old feel around for anything tasty in there. So they need to be able to figure out if there's anything in there that's worth having a look at without actually looking at it. So when a raccoon is touching something, it's gathering information and building up an image of what that thing is. Um, it's quite amazing, really. When we bring ours for walks in the forest, you really do get a whole new appreciation for the rich tapestry of textures Mother Nature has to offer. Um, when we go to the beach, they love it as well. We've never actually made it to the water because sand, sand is the best thing ever. Every footstep is an adventure. Would you like to meet a raccoon? I would love to. <laughs> listening to me parrot on about it. I'm going to introduce you to Lionel. He's uh, our male raccoon. This is Lionel here. He is cute. I'm also going to introduce you to Lionel's bin. Raccoons are very, very fond of breaking into bins. So Lionel is going to show you how he does that. There you go, straight into his bin. You might be able to see that there. This is how people typically think of a raccoon. He broke into that very easily, but it is a very easy bin to break into. Let's try something a little bit harder. So I've got a tin here that Lionel is going to have to try and work out how to get into. You're going to turn around, Lionel, so everyone can see you. Now this tin is just a bit of a tin. He got it from Father Christmas. Uh, at Christmas time. And he has to try and break into it. So we'll turn him around and see if he can do it. You might make him out feeling the way around the tin, and I think he just about got into it for you. So all of his favourite treats are inside that tin. Uh, things like grapes and roast chicken. Um, there's banana in there as well, so that keeps him quite busy. Um, and we're always looking for new puzzles and things that keep Lionel's uh, little paws nice and busy too. This is one of the reasons why they're really, really bad hairstylists, because they really like touching hair, don't you, Lionel? But shall we let Lionel go back to Tilly, the other creature teacher? Uh, and I think I'll, I'll just about finish up, but one last thing I do have to say, it's really important, is that raccoons do not make good family pets. Please do not think that they do. Lionel has been with us for a long time, we're both working with animals constantly, we've got lots of experience. But as a family pet, they'd be an absolute nightmare, as wonderful as they are. Thank you for joining us today, Lisa, and say hi to Lionel. For you guys at home, if you want to see more of Lionel and know more about raccoons, make sure to read the article below.